So, in fact, before I did the part, I didn't have a personality. <laughs> but Glenn Larson wrote this wonderful character, who was a womanizer and smoked a few Morellos and drank the ambrosia, and kissed the girls and made them fly. <laughs> And um, so I became him and the rest, and then I said, hey, this is good. This is the personality I've always wanted. <laughs> no, it's not true. I actually met Glenn Larson in a, uh, uh, in a meeting and, and, and we hit it off. We talked for a long time. And so he had been writing the part with me in mind when he, uh, when, before, uh, when he was creating the show. And um, so it was close. It was close to the way I perceived the world. Uh, genuinely, I didn't want to even audition for the part of Baltar, um, but purely because John Colicos was so kind of indelibly stamped in my memory, and he was utterly amazing, and, and he played somebody who was, uh, I felt to be really vile, and uh, <laughs> very few redeeming qualities at all, if any, in, in, in this particular role. And it was like my, my first time in Los Angeles, and I was like, I was not happy. Uh, and they, they went, you'd be perfect as this role. They were like, how do you all see me? Just, <laughs> <laughs> all. I said, I want to be like the Apollo character. I want to be in there, yeah. like pants and fire a gun. <laughs> <laughs> that part's gone to Jamie Bamber. He was here three weeks ago. Okay. Um, and so then they said, listen, you, um, whatever you bring to the party, the writers, if, if the show goes, you'll kind of meet somewhere in the middle and, and they can facilitate certain, so bring out certain things that maybe you will bring to the heart. I know that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't think that was going to be true and actually that ended up being totally true in the sense of, uh, uh, what am I, uh, I don't really think I'm anything like Guy's about art at all. Um, and on some level it's like, I, in our version, like Gaius is like the original Starbuck gone wrong. He's like uh, he has some things. He's a womanizer. He, like, he likes his cigars. He likes liquor. Only he's a he's a disaster. And, uh, and his and his narcissism is um, one of the linchpins of why why we're actually in the show because he gave the secret codes to this this girl who he's sleeping with. Uh, the only real similarities I think I wanted to bring to it was um, being English and they wanted, uh, I suppose, an English guy badly. I've always seen people on space shows, like everybody knows exactly what to do and which button to press and what, you know what I mean, there's all these lights flashing, everybody, nobody ever eats and they, and I was like, I want to be the guy on the spaceship who doesn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> the red one or the green one, I'm not, <laughs> and, and like bring some naturalism. That, and I suppose on that level, that, that really is like me, because I couldn't wire a plug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm attributing 